So guys, I'm going to start to catch up to you. So these are all Z scores, so right in the middle I can put a zero. Because I don't even know what the mean raw score is. I just know Z score, so I put a zero right there. 1.17 must be there. No question, right? Above zero. And then I want the area below that. So already, just from drawing the picture, I know my answer should be bigger than 50%. So the picture should help you. So when I look up 1.17, what do you guys get? I love it. You guys are like, you get there, Jeff. You don't need us to tell you. So I get 0.879. I saw a lot of you guys get the same thing. Why do I not have to do any subtraction or anything? Any shy of subtraction or anything? Jeff, what the hell did you drink this morning? What did I get again? 879? 879. Why do I not have to do 1 minus that? Yeah, I'm not asking for greater than. The, the chart is built to tell me areas below, and the question asks me for an area below. I like it. Maybe make this work for me. Yeah. All right, now let's look at this guy. Several things happening here. The chart doesn't give a shit what the question is. The chart tells me the area below a z-score I look up, no matter what. So again, what goes in the middle? Zero. Where's negative 0.56? Back here somewhere. And then I shade in this. But when I look up negative 0.56, the chart is built to give us area below. That's how it's built. So we look up negative 0.56. What do you guys get? Negative 0.56. I get 0 0.2877. Is that what you guys got? Yeah. So 0 0.2877. How do I know I'm not done yet? Yeah, I shaded this in for myself so I could just go, oh shit, I didn't get the answer yet. So then what's the answer? Do you guys remember this, by the way? Make each one 9, make the last one 10. So 7, 1, 2, 3. That's the quick way to do 1 minus any decimal. Is that what you guys got? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I ain't telling you. It's my work. Stay away from me. All right. So here, there's 0, there's 1.42, there's negative 2.67. And again, it doesn't have to be the scale or anything like that. And I want the area between. So if I look up this area and I look up this area, what am I going to do with those two areas? Subtract. subtract. You never subtract. Bless you. Don't subtract. Bless you. Don't subtract Z scores. A Z score tells you where you are. If you subtract Z scores, you are somewhere else. Does that make any sense? Don't subtract z scores because then you're answering some other question. And that's not the one I asked, and then you lose points. It's crazy. So if you look up 1.42, that's too much area, but how much do we get? 1.42. 0 0.9222. 0.9222. And then if you look up negative 2.67, that's exactly how much too much area that first one is. It's a beautiful physical problem. So look up negative 2.67. What do you guys get? Let's see. What do I get? 0038. Kick ass. So of course to find this, it's just a physical problem. I just subtract these two. So what do you get when you subtract those two? Yeah. Please circle your final answer. When you have a bunch of probabilities thrown around, circle what the answer is. Thank you. You guys don't like my shirt? You guys like my shirt? You haven't noticed? Normal distribution, paranormal distribution. So. 
geekiness live. All right, sorry. it's perfect. It's we're in the month for this. I don't have a freaking pumpkin pie spice or shit like that. So too bad. Uh, all right. D is a different beast because they don't have a Z score. 0.58 looks like a Z score. That's so freaking evil. Too bad for us. I have to know that that's a percentage, that's an area. So I have to put it in the right place on the chart to keep myself to go in the right direction. So when I draw this, the, the mean cuts it in. The mean cuts it in half. So anything down here would be what kind of percentile? Anything down here would be a percentile less than P50. So where's P58 have to be? up here somewhere. So that I'll have a little bit more than half below it. If the mean has half below it, anything below the mean has less than half below it. Please let that make sense. Not a major thing. If you put it in the right place though, everything's gonna make sense. So what kind of z-score is it gonna be, negative or positive? positive. Yeah, because it's above the mean. Did I have to know that before I drew the picture? No, but once I draw the picture correctly, I know it's going to be on the positive side. So if I look up 0.58, where do I look up 0.58? Do I look at it right here? Here we go, 0.5. Am I doing it right? Probably not the way I'm talking. No, screw that. That's not a z-score. That's not a z-score. It's up there. It's not a z-score. So I've got to try to find it in here. So the closest I can get to 0.58, what's the closest you guys got to 0.58? 0.2. Yeah. 5793 is only 7 away from 0.58, but that's 32 away. So I'm going to use this guy. 0 0.20. Bam. So just think about it. If I start at 0, that's P50. If I go to negative 0.1, that's P40 something. If I keep moving down, I'm having less and less percentage below me if I keep moving down. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right. This one is not a percentile directly, but how do you draw this? It's only got 5% above it. How much does zero have above it? 50%. So where it would be only 5% above it? Somewhere up here. <clears throat> Would the chart understand that we're shit? Jeff, the chart's a piece of paper. It doesn't, all right, all right but could you use 0.05? No. What's the chart understand? Areas that are? Areas that are above or below? Below. That's how it's built. So what area is below this? 0.95. Point so again, do I look like this? 0.9. Am I doing it right? No. Fine. <laughs> you guys like, dude, obviously you're not doing it right. I can tell from your tone. But 0.95 is not a z-score. Don't look it up as if it was. What is 0.95? Percentage in the area, a probability. All three of those are the same. So if I look up 0.95, I've got to look it up in here. What happens that's interesting when you try to find 0.95? Anybody do this yet? Do you see how it's right between these two? It's right between 1.64 and 1.65. So if you follow the little asterisk dude, what do they do? Well, they just split the difference, 1.645. That kind of makes sense. It's equal on both sides of 164 and 165, so I'm just going to cut the difference, 1645. Whew. You can tell it happens in at least one other place. It happens in more than that, but that this is an important one, 1 1.645. In about, what month is it? In a month or so, there are going to be some z-scores, 1.96, 2.33, 2.575. You're just going to know those. Whatever, Jeff. All right. I don't blame you. So what do we get? Did we actually get it? 1.645. That is the z-score that's got 95% below it. So really, if you look at it this way, 
Starting at zero, I have 50% below. So if I move up, how far up do I have to go so I have 95% below me this far up? A little over one and a half steps. Okay. All right. I don't know if you guys have, I think a couple of you guys have started this one. Keep going. Well, let me do this first one just to make sure everybody's on the right track. What goes in the middle for this picture? Good, because I know a raw score, a mean. I know the X's. Where's 27.2? Over here. So I'll change this into a Z score. What's the, where do I shade? Below, I like it. So I know the answer is going to be relatively small, or at least smaller than 50%. I know that for sure. So then what do I have to do with this so that I can use the chart? Why am I allowed to use a chart on this problem? No, because of this. You can change anything into a z-score if you know the mean and the standard deviation, but what's the only time you can use a chart is if it's normally distributed. Okay, because if it's normal, then it has to meet all these restrictions. We know basically everything about it. If it's not normal, damn! Is it binomial? Then we can use a formula. Is it xp of x? Then I can use formulas. Is it something else? Then I'm screwed. So now you just got to change that into a z-score. So basically problem number two is the same as problem number one. Just the first step is make everything into z-scores. Okay. Keep going. 